were taking part in a global experiment in medicine, public health, economics, sociology, and much more, and especially about coping. The big question is, how have we coped? And how will we cope in the future? The first thing, and I think we've all seen that in our WhatsApp groups and in YouTubes and, and, and in the news, the social solidarity, the empathy between people within a country and between the country, increased communication. Zoom technology, well, that's really changed the culture of our meetings and how we relate to people, how we see them. Online media, we've got virtual museums, we've had operas and concerts, things that we weren't really uh, exposed to or used uh, before the shutdown or the lockdown. Telemedicine, like I'm Zooming with you, but this is with patients as well, and this will change the way uh, hospital clinics and, and outpatients will work and your access to doctors. Education, distance learning, something's been long overdue. We need some frontal lectures, but not so many, and therefore our universities and school education will change. Business culture, flexible hours, working from home. This will lead to less traffic congestion and hopefully less road accidents. The next epidemic or pandemic will be round the corner in the next years. So we've got to learn to be prepared. This is all entails international cooperation. Why? Because we're all in the same boat. You can't say viruses, no, no borders.